I've been two times before at the show. I've been this uh, at this show in 2006, okay. and before that I was traveling once here in Canada. No, I like it, but it's too hot. Too hot. It's not. It's not. Too it's too feel hot. like we are walking in Tel Aviv, and while we are in Tel Aviv in this kind of weather, we are not going out of our house. So because we are here, you know, we, we can't. We stay. want to see, but uh, it's hard. We can't hard. stay at the hotel, so all the time we are outside, and it's so hot and humid. I had a friend, we studied together uh, uh, jewelry design and then she quit and I continued with the, with the jewelry, uh, making jewelry. So I didn't come from any uh, background. Nothing. I was working at the Checkpoint company, a high-tech uh, computer engineer. Then I saw the Chiuli exhibition in 2000 uh, in uh, David Tower in Jerusalem. Then I in, fell in love with glass and start to look what I can do with that. It took me like two years after that I find the lamp work is the technique that I used that I can work in my house and making jewelry. Some the, the smaller things so it can be uh, like uh, five, seven hours and then the rest is uh, one day, two days, three days. The glass is actually I don't want really to know how long it takes me because it's so much work. So I stop. I stop a while ago to count, but it take. It depends on the uh, bead design and the jewelry design. Uh, at the end, how many beads I, I have to use for the jewelry. Uh, it takes a lot of time to make each one of, of the beads, and it's handmade and it's, each one is crafted by itself. From the beginning it was the, the obvious that I will do the glass jewelry because of the technique that is uh, uh, working on small things and not a huge sculpture thing and because of the uh, condition of my working space. So it was very, uh, it was obvious that this is what I'm going with. A lot of glass bead artists that focus on the bead and my work is focused on the jewelry because even when I start doing this separated bead, I think even before about the whole jewelry. I studied uh, how to knit. So I have a friend who, who, who taught me this uh, uh, kind of work. I got in love with it. And from that point, all my work was knitting. I use, there is, today there is lots of uh, uh, colored thread, but I don't use them, you know, I use only a uh, color that they are very similar to, to material, you know, like the, I want it to be real, you know, uh, like, like it, there will be the feeling that it's uh, gold or silver or copper, but To find their own language in Jerusalem. This is a kind of job that it's you enjoy it. You know, it's not like a, 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 a regular job. You know, because when you make something, you know, it's you must love it.